I realize now we can't see uh, anything. Welcome everybody to a brand new series here on the channel where we build bases inspired by Hermitcraft. So how this is going to work is I'm going to bring up a wheel that looks like this and then we are going to spin it to see which hermit it lands on and whichever one it lands on we're going to build a base that is inspired by them. We're going to be getting hopefully all the hermits names on this wheel at some point but we're only going to start with a few to get started so let's go ahead spin the wheel and see whose base we're going to be designing. All right here we go let's spin that wheel. Who are we going to get? Looks like we're getting Brian. All right, let's find a place to build it and do some research and see what we can come up with for Green. This actually looks like a pretty good spot, and I really love this little entrance down to this cave because I think we could put a secret lair down here as well. Not sure why Green really needs a secret lair. It's not like he's a superhero of any sort. First, I started off with a little terraforming covering up the hole to the cave and making room for the start of the base. Then I began to work on the front entrance of the base, making a hobbit hole style design, which calls back to Green season seven starter base. Inspiration for this was also taken from our friend Gold Robin's hobbit hole design. Next, I made a little area to house some crops. This design calls back to Green's shop, The Barge, which always had a greenhouse feel to me, so I thought it would fit perfectly above the villagers. Then, after adding the villagers for a small trading spot, I built a small custom tree with some foliage around it for some more decoration. Finally, I added a small custom path to the front door before I worked on the interior. This was so much fun to build and it actually came together a lot faster than I thought. I went ahead and did some research into past builds that Green has done and kind of an overall aesthetic to him as well. So like I have some red concrete here to kind of call out his red sweater and just I know his love of hobbit holes and how much time and effort he put into the barge. I wanted to make a call of reference to that as well. In almost every gameplay that I have seen Green take part in, especially with Second Life, Double Life, and Hermitcraft, he's always had some villagers to trade with, mainly librarians, which is always something that I think every Minecrafter should have. I figured two of them would be a great start to anything that Green could do. Now let's take a look at the inside of the base. So you can see that I kept that same palette going through the entire base, making sure it was well lit up, but also had some character to it, much like Korean. If we come on over here, we have our storage area. And if you look, our storage is actually completely empty because everything is in the shulker boxes. Because if there's one thing I know about Green is that he usually has a chest monster somewhere in his base. He's been really good about organizing stuff in most recent seasons, but Green always has a chest monster and, you know, it's something I always enjoy seeing. Let's also not forget about the love that Green has for one of his good friends, Mumbo. I had to kind of throw a Mumbo face in this base and I thought, what better place to put it than in the carpet right when you walk in? It's one of the first things you see. I may have also put it in the ceiling. So if we come on up here, we have the bedroom area, which just has some furnaces and some armor stands to just kind of have some extra storage. But the main thing of this room that I really felt was very green is having pesky bird. And what better way to celebrate having pesky bird than loading up the jukebox and letting the bird dance. Definitely seems exactly like something green would do. With everything in the base, there is definitely one thing that I could not forget. This may look like a normal bookshelf. If we flip the switch, we have our secret entrance. And if we pop on down, we enter in. I realize now we can't see uh, anything because I built this with a night vision potion. That's much better. I went ahead and added some glowstone for light, but then I also added in a night vision potion just so we could see stuff a little more clear. So this is the secret lair of Poultry Man, or at least how I think Green might design it. He might add a lot more kind of bits and bobs and a little more decoration, but I think overall, 
I'm really happy with how this turned out. So we have the giant egg which houses his secret identities costume. I do not have the animal data pack installed, but this would be where the head of Poultry Man would be along with his wings and such like that. Then if we come along this path, we come on over and we find the poultry mobile. I did my best to try to make this look like an egg on wheels and it just could not turn out that way. So I, I worked with what I had, and it, but I, I think it turned out fairly, fairly well and I'm really happy with it. But yes, I could not make a base that was inspired by Green without including at least a reference to Poultry Man because that's one of my favorite storylines that he has done and I kind of hope he brings it back in a future season of Hermitcraft. But please let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite part about this base. I will tell you my favorite part was definitely getting to build the outside and getting to play around with the interior. I don't do interiors a whole lot. I like building structures and kind of leaving the inspiration of the interior up to whoever decides to build it, but it was a lot of fun getting to do this and playing around with some ideas from one of my favorite YouTubers out there. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite part. All right, guys, that is all the time I have here today. If you guys like this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more because I plan on doing more of these as well but i'm gonna get on out of here all the links to my social media are in the description down below and i'll see you guys in the next one always remember the most important thing is to be odd and wash your hands peace guys